and we talked about trying to, um, as many of you know, it's like a PS3 PC game that launched uh, last year, I think. And the developers ported it over to Tegra K1 very easily because K1 supports the same graphics API as uh, PCs and consoles, and it delivers a great, uh, you know, gaming experience. And for the very first time, you're seeing this level of graphics quality on mobile device. So here I am, I was actually in the middle of a fight uh, and they basically destroyed me but you can see the graphics quality looks like a you know, PS3 level uh, uh, quality because it's a PS3 game and there were no compromises in the assets, they used the exact same assets that they used on the PS3 version to bring it to the game one. Uh, It also supports multiplayer, so I can actually add a second controller, get a second character into the game and both of us can be playing at the same time. And uh, Shield Tablet supports up to four controllers at any given time, so four people can be playing. Obviously the game has to support that, so this game has three characters, so three people can play. So, so great Android games coming to Shield Tablet, thanks to Tegra K1's uh, you know, awesome GPU. And, uh, you know, console mode, you can sit back and enjoy Android games uh, like you would on any uh, gaming console. Um, uh, it basically lists all the games that have been installed on your PC. Right now I'm connected to this laptop here. Um, and uh, you know, basically enjoy PC games on your tablet anyway. So I've already in grids, I'm going to launch that. And uh, I'll the session. <laughs> Anyone who's a better driver than me can more than welcome to join us. <laughs> Anyone wants to play? Give it a shot, Andreas. <laughs> so that's uh, PC game streaming, again uh, very nicely integrated uh, through the grid app, uh, Shield Hub. So you can see the broadcast has started and when broadcast starts it brings up a video overlay on screen, it turns on the front facing camera, it turns on the microphone on my Shield wireless controller. So I can be sitting in front of my tablet and starring in my own game and it sends everything to, the, uh, to my Twitch page. And if you're like sitting in a coffee shop, I can like quickly connect my headset to this and like put on my headset and like so they are not disturbing people around. So this is Twitch Broadcasting uh, coming to Shield Tablet for the very first time. Never been done before on Android.